the guards took her to the palace where the secrets was revealed. In the true reflection. Once upon a time, in Amudo village, lived a beautiful maiden who was raised by an old woman who picked her up as a baby abandoned by the river banks with just a wrapper covering her body and another used as a pillow to shield her tiny head from weeds on the pathway. On that fateful day, when the old woman picked her, the baby was almost beaten by a dangerous snake. But thank goodness for the timely intervention of the old woman who screamed, sent the snake crawling back into the bush. Upon reaching the baby, the old woman discovered how beautiful the baby was, even with the drops of tears rolling down her glittery eyes. The old woman took the baby in her arms, dried up her tears with the wrapper she laid on, and headed home with her. When she got to her dilapidated hut, she laid the baby on the bed while she boiled water to give the baby a warm bath and make bath for her. After the baby ate, she slept so soundly that the old woman was all smiles as she watched her sleep. Soon after, the old woman slept too. It was the crow of the cock that woke her up and she quickly got up to see the baby awake, smiling at her. She smiled back, wondering how long the baby had been awake without making any sound or even crying. After feeding the baby, the old woman wrapped a new wrapper around her and then gave her the name Waiye, meaning child of light. The news of the mysterious baby found by the river banks went round the village and no one bothered to ever come close to her or the old woman. The old woman, because of childlessness and several miscarriages, her husband sent out of the house several years ago and warned the villagers never to associate with her or anyone that is close to her. So since then, many people avoided the woman. Even the mysterious baby made matters worse because the villagers then believed that she was truly a witch. If not, how would she be the only one that saw the crying baby by the river banks? Years went by and we grew to become a very beautiful young lady. And then the men of the village started to woo her anytime they set their eyes on her, which made the other ladies jealous. I wondered why a girl picked from the river whose parents are unknown would be so beautiful and well-mannered. So they started plotting evil against me. One day, one of the maidens stole the princess's bead and hid them in Wehe's house. So the king instructed the palace guards to search every household until the beads were found. The guard set out immediately, going from port to port, yet nothing was found. The evil searched to meet his hop, but nothing was found. When the wicked maiden who plotted the bead in the hut heard that nothing was found, 
she was shocked. She had to sneak back into with his heart to see things for herself. And to her greatest surprise, the beats were nowhere to be found. With anger, she went back to her house, only to find the guards waiting. Guards, what are you doing in my house? I thought you already searched, but saw nothing. The evil maiden asked the head guard, who showed her the beads which they found inside her clay pot, which she used to fetch water. The maiden was the pounder because she wondered how the beads resurfaced in her own pots. The guards took her to the palace where the secrets was revealed. Actually, the priest had seen the maiden steal the beads and gently followed her to see what she needed such an expensive ornament for. Upon seeing her sneak into his head stop and came out empty-handed, he knew she had plotted the bead to set Mihi up. So, the prince quickly took out the beast and hid them inside the wicked maiden's fort, where the guards later found them with the tips the prince gave them. After the priest's narration, the wicked maiden was punished according to the palace laws. This incident made Ruiye become more withdrawn from the community because she now realized that many didn't like her. They despite her truthfulness, modesty, and good behavior. She withdrew herself and was always indoors with the old woman. However, the prince and the princess kept coming to her to encourage her that even though some didn't like her because they felt insecure, she should know that there is a reason why destiny brought her into the community. Gradually, why he began to let the past go and led her normal life along the line. She fell in love with the prince and a few years later, they got married. They welcomed a set of children. Do you know that the river Ethiopia is the deepest inland waterway in Africa? This particular river originated from the foot of a giant silk cotton tree at Umwaja in Ukwani local government area of Delta State, Nigeria. The uniqueness of this river lies in its source and the secrecy it holds. Thanks for watching. Love from the classic series.